HTML5 and CSS3 tutorials for beginners. First lesson. As we've seen in the XM tutorial, htdocs folder has a folder called my website. Now, I know you're keen to learn about HTML5 and CSS to create your website and web pages, but if anything, remember this. So I'll show you using a program illustrator, right? Let's imagine these as your web pages. And let's imagine this is your contact page. Actually, let's imagine the green boxes as your folders. And let's put them up. Let's put them down here. Let's change the colors for this one. Okay. If these are your folders, then all websites will have images, perhaps videos, perhaps PDF documents. So therefore, it's actually smart practice for you before you begin learning about HTML is that you learn to structure your folder in a meaningful way. Images folder can contain your image files. Your PDFs, as an example, can be placed in PDF folder. Or let's imagine you, you've got videos going on, right? You want to host videos on internet. Yeah, this is only smart before you create web pages and then all of a sudden think, oh my goodness, you know, I've got all these files, I don't know what is doing what. And let's create a small business website in this HTML5 and CSS tutorials course. And our services related web pages can be placed into this folder. We can create a new file and let's call that index.html and remove .text extension. Let's refresh. Now that's a blank index page. That means if I visit my services folder now, it has an index page. That means I am seeing the index page here. Let me open that up with, I'm going to be using Dreamweaver in these tutorials, but as I've shown you in the tools you may use, you may like to use Notepad++ and so on. They both do the same thing. So now, let me declare the doc type now doc type is very important why is this important there are html5 has this doc type that means when the browser sees this in the first line it knows that it's going to receive html5 or html um, tags and so on so it can render it properly and let's begin by putting HTML tag. Surely all web pages as in HTML documents will have opening HTML and closing HTML. As you can see, tools such as Dreamweaver makes things very easy, as in it makes web development very easy. And let's think of a human body. So therefore, everything that is seen in the front end of the browser can be placed within our body tags now let's go and create a header section within the header section i can say you know what i can put a heading tag which can be heading one heading two heading three heading four and heading five and heading six And let me close that. Remember, we're modifying index.html. Now, that name is rather special because when a web page is requested, the way the servers work is that it will look for a file name index.htm, index.html, 
index.php and if it sees files such as that and files with those names it will render that as the default web page within that folder so now let me refresh this page and now we've got our HTML web page all going on for us. Now this doc type is very special and you as the website developer will need to understand this. Let me press on file in the Dreamweaver because then I can show you samples. Let's create a new file and let's select HTML and here we've got doc type older than html5 had different doc type declarations we've got xhtml let's select that for our new file to see what happens when a browser sees this in the first line then it knows it's going to receive xhtml doc type as in document type xhtml Make sense and in this example it's transitional that means I've just declared to the rendering browser that this document will have normal HTML coupled with XML extensible markup language and if I was to visit this URL this is where I need to go now I can learn all about that but remember this is for reference and I've been in this industry for many years as in web development industry and even today in 2017 every now and then I will need to visit w3.org to learn about the new features of HTML5 so let me show you one more before we close up here we can have different doc types we may say you know what html4 if we want knowing that when we select html5 create a new document as you can see html5 is much better why because it's just clean and it's more semantic as in meaningful so this was our first lesson and we just learned some of the core concepts that HTML is built upon. If you haven't subscribed to Rank Your YouTube channel, please do so, and I'll talk with you in the next video session.